Celebrate Pride in Overwatch 2. Pride is coming to Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is a joyful escape for millions of players worldwide. We always set out to create a futuristic world that is worth fighting for, where everyone feels seen and celebrated. This game is only worthy of that hopeful world if people can connect with our heroes and see themselves in the universe. We want Pride to be that for our players. And just as important, we want that for ourselves. One thing we have heard from both players and our watch team members alike is that seeing themselves in the game over the years has helped them find the strength and courage to show the world who they are. We are a diverse development team and it's important to us that the universe we are creating, the world that we pour our passion and energy into represents us and represents a world that we want to be a part of. The work that we're putting in the front of the world is an extension of ourselves. I mean, this is great. This is like emotional really it's it's quite powerful it's just very sad that it's all being undercut and that this is coming in the circumstances it's come but this is like a, a powerful and great message and i know that we could sit here and be like well this is like you know three years four years too late but it shows you that there is a change in the overwatch hierarchy they are different people with different values right it's not the jeff kaplan era because in the jeff kaplan era they did not want to do this you win some you lose some a core ten of overwatch 2 is giving everyone a chance to play the way they want by choosing between different roles, unique playstyles, and diverse heroes that best fit each person's individuality. Outside of matches, we want people playing Overwatch 2 to have a new way to proudly celebrate who they are. Cosmetics such as player icons and name cards are a means to represent that for those who want a reflection of themselves in our universe. Beginning on June 1st, everybody that logs into Overwatch 2 will receive an extensive collection of profound player icons and name cards, celebrating the many diverse identities that make up the tapestry of this fantastic community. The full list of cosmetics can be found below. This is a cool, this is a very cool player card. I want that. Name cards allow you to choose how you identify within the game and you'll notice specific ones dedicated to some of our LGBTQ plus heroes. You'll find a lesbian card for Tracer, a gay card for Soldier, a pansexual card for Life Fever, as well as a bisexual card for Baptiste and a lesbian card for Farah. For years, players have speculated on the sexual orientations of Baptiste and Farah and we are thrilled to not only include them in these prize cosmetics, but also publish a brand new short story focusing on their identities, each other, and themselves. Pride's emphasis on expressing everyone's true self is beautiful, and we want it to feel like it's not only a celebration for our players, but an event recognized within the Overwatch universe as well. When's Overwatch set? Like 2160 or something? I'd like to think that by that time, like everyone would just be assumed to be whatever the fuck they wanted to be. Like I would, I would, I would hope people are just like, yeah, everyone could be could be gay if they wanted to. Like, what's the big deal? In honor of what this event means to so many people and for the original Stonewall riots that inspired this annual celebration. For the whole month of June, you'll play on an updated Midtown map taking place shortly after a fantastic Pride Parade. Nighttime Midtown looks kind of sick. Almost enough to make me want to play Overwatch again. And I put almost in bold. For those wondering why now, we love our characters and their lore and in expanding the Overwatch 2 experience, to include the upcoming PvE lore, we realize much more we can do in our exploring our characters' identities and relationships. With our first Overwatch 2 Pride event, we knew that we wanted to celebrate the diversity that makes the world worth fighting for. This is just the beginning of Pride in Overwatch 2. Over the coming seasons and years, we'll have more to share as the deeper lore of the universe, one of Overwatch universe, unfolds. Beyond what we're doing in-game, Pride is an opportunity for us to give back and support the LGBTQ community. We invite you to head to the Blizzard Gear store to explore a range of Pride-themed apparel curated by the Blizzard LGBT Plus employee network, with Blizzard's net proceeds from the sales from May 16th through to June 30th being donated to the National Center for Transgender Equality. NCTE's mission statement speaks to the core of what we're striving to do in making a better world within the Overwatch universe. The National Center for Transgender Equality advocates to change policies and society to increase understanding and acceptance for transgender people. NCTE works to, dis to replace disrespect, discrimination, and violence with empathy, opportunity, and justice. For more information about NCTE, please visit transequality.org. That's amazing. That's really cool. Like they really, they really went hard and I, and I applaud them for it. They could have held back many orders of magnitude here. Like they could have, cause the trans issue is, is a hot topic issue in, in, well, certainly what I gather in America and me being a Brit, it's not exactly going down well here either. You know, bigots everywhere essentially. So it would have been a lot easier, probably a lot less of a PR risk for them to just be like, oh, we're going to donate the money to, you know, uh, uh, just a general LGBT plus charity. So for them to go for the National Center for Transgender Equality, that's not holding back. That's just like, yeah, we really do believe in this. So kudos to them on that. And and the fact that they, they actually like highlighted the the charity's mission statement, right? Like they actually just straight up put it in there, in their blog. So 
This is a big dub. They hit rock bottom, so they go all out. I mean, I don't think the two are related, to be honest. I don't think that the announcement of the PvE has anything to do with this. This is like, because cause these things take a long time. I, I, as I know, from my own time with Blizzard, like, you know, as in trying to like do stuff with them or get in touch with them over things, it takes months for anything to be done because it's like a million checklists that you have to go through, right? There's a million middle people that you have to go through. And so there's no way that they were able to A, create the assets for this Pride event, coordinate with NCTE, make the merch, make these cards, all of the things that, you know, again, these require months of dev time. So there is no way they were able to do this and know at that time that they were going to drop the PvE news, you know, around the same time. So this is most definitely separate to the news. And probably the only goal they were working towards was getting it done in time for Pride. Yeah, I think this is an unequivocal W, basically. I, I think this is an unequivocal dub. I think they did a great job from what I can tell. I'm curious to see all those cosmetics. I don't have a bad thing to say about this, to be honest. It's all about the corporate equality index. Companies need to maintain high ratings. I mean, you can look at it all in the most cynical way possible. Of course, as a gigantic company are pressured by the public to do something for pride but that doesn't mean they have to and that doesn't mean they have to go this hard that's the thing they could have done something very perfunctory they didn't have to do this amongst all the cynicism which i encourage like you should be cynical whenever a fucking giant corporation does anything let alone anything that's under the banner of social progress so you should be cynical and you should be very cynical of activision blizzard because they suck but this is not the thing to be cynical about. Having met the developers, having spoken to developers, they truly are like a new set of people who believe in these kind of things. Like they truly are a new team. They, they genuinely are passionate about equality. Like, what a gross event. Fuck you, my guy. Just get out of here. Just fuck off, weirdo. Ban this knobhead. Like, I, I don't even have time for this anymore. Guys, we're in fucking 2023. If you're out here and you're like, eh, fucking Pride event, just fuck off. Like, I don't even have the, I don't have the time to, like, explain to you why you shouldn't be a bigot. Like, it's... Come on, man. Like, you can be cynical. I'm not saying you can't be cynical, but to be, like, it's a gross event, fuck off, dude. So, yeah, this is, like, a... This is clearly a demonstration of the values of the new team, and I think they deserve applause and respect for it. More representation is nice, but please no sexual content in the story. Do you think they're gonna like, what do you think? They're gonna drop a fucking NSFW Farah fucking Tracer comic? Like, what do, you, what do you think is gonna happen? When people say, like, it's so, I, I always find it's really weird. And I do think it's like an American thing that I see a lot of people say where they're like, confuse gayness with sexual, like sexualness. Like it's just because someone is gay does not mean that it's like that in itself is a sexual act. Like again, love can be romantic guys. and. and and your, your, like, your romantic desires do not have to be sexual in their nature. Like, I'm sure we've all had crushes when we were kids and didn't even know what sex was. I'm sure you've seen two people in a relationship and they're outside and they're not actively fucking on the street. They're just like holding hands and being a couple and they're in love. So just because they're like, yeah, some of our characters are gay doesn't mean they're going to start fucking right now or there's going to be explicit sexual content in the game or anywhere. It just means they're gay. Like, that's all it means. It means that... Rather than liking, I don't know, Batiste, Farah likes Mercy. And that's all it means. That's literally all it means. This is such a weird pe thing that people bring up. The video a while back, I made that video on why Blizzard needs to do more fight diversity. If, if I was a shill, I wouldn't have made that video. So the fact that I'm applauding them now is because I genuinely think this is a great job that they've done. I made that video like seven or eight months ago when Valorant announced that Killjoy and Rays were gay. And I was like, why does Blizzard not do this anymore? Like we used to have, we used to be the front line of like these kind of things when, when, you know, when the game came out and they were like, Tracer's gay, our, our poster child is gay. Like live with it. Like that was great. And then for years they took a back seat, the, you know, the rainbow icon controversy. And in the comments of that video, so many people were like, I don't want to see sex in my game. And it's like, first of all, my guy, I know you do. Because I know you be sat here googling the rule 34 or watch porn. So let's not fucking lie. You definitely want to see sex in your game. And you probably love the lesbian sex when it's you getting off on the porn. But you just don't want it when they're not there for your gaze. Your gaze of like, well, if it's not me sexualizing it, then I don't want to see it. So let's get that out of the way first. But if like, if Reinhardt and Anna are like flirting, nobody bats a fucking eye. Nobody's like, 
man, get this fucking sexual content out of my face. I don't want this in my game. Nobody fucking say anything. But if Bap is flirting with Life Fever, all of a sudden it's like, I don't want, why is it gonna be sexual? I don't want sexual audience, like sexual uh, interactions in my game. Who said it's anything about sex, dude? They could just want to be romantic partners. They could be asexual and not want to have sex with each other. Like you don't even know. You know, like, where does this come from? Where, who, like, correlated the two? Because they're not the same thing. And these are the same fucking people, I promise you, who download the nude mods for Skyrim. I promise you, it's, it's the, the Venn diagram is just a circle. Okay, I didn't even finish reading the whole blog before people started getting weird. There is power in ensuring we all feel welcome, not only in this game, but in the community that has rallied around it. And to that power, we hope every person, whoever logs in, feels acceptable and camaraderie with Tracer, Soldier, Bap, Farah, Life Fever, and every other hero in unique and personal ways. The world is worth fighting for, and in the worlds of Life Fever, our strengths mingle. So we are honored to fight alongside you. The only L of this blog was the random insertion of a Life Fever quote, which they're saying it as if we all know this. Does anyone know this f this famous Life Fever quotation? Yeah, man. Oh, do you remember that time when Life Fever said our strengths mingle? Oh, chills. What? Who the fuck? I don't even remember him ever saying this. New Pride Cosmetics. All cosmetics will automatically be added to every player's account on June 1st, along with all the future accounts created in the Watch 2. We wish to acknowledge the hard work of every creator of the original flags and symbols on which these cosmetics are based. Alright. Yo, these are some... Some sick flags, dude. These are some sick flags. There should be an option to, like, cycle between them randomly, you know, like, or every so often. Like, every day, switch me up. I want a new flag every day. Name cards. Yo, these are sick. What the fuck? These are sick. Like, I don't even feel like I need to match my own sexual identity to the flag. I just want, like, the one that looks the fucking coolest. Yeah, they just literally look sick. It doesn't even matter. If, even if you're one of those people who's like, I don't care about the pride event. Rock one of these flags, my guy. They look fucking bitchin'. Growing up, I always felt weird about all this stuff. But meeting people in the community helped a lot. Social media can be a villain to these groups. I mean, the whole reason to do this... Is to normalize these things if again if you're like oh, I don't care and I keep bringing it up because I just know that people will come in and say oh, I don't care because I've been here enough times we've had this discussion enough times for me to know that like inevitably there's like a timer every like 30 seconds someone's gonna come in to be like why do we care who cares about this if people don't care why comment oh you'd be surprised but the number of people who don't care and only comment to express that they don't care but like, yeah, the whole point of it is to normalize it. If you're like, it's just normal to me, I don't care about your sexuality. Well, then this is perfect because all we're trying to do is make sure that like, if someone is gay, it's not a big deal at all. Like, it's just like a normal part of their life and no one needs to make a big deal out of it. That's the, that's literally what we're trying to do right now. We're literally trying to make it so that someone can just be gay and it's like a normal thing. No one has to be like, you're gay. Me, 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 me. Right, I feel like Life We Were Pride could have been so much more bitching. Tracer got the best one, man. This is not fair. Tracers is so much cooler because it's like actually in sync with her her whole thing, right? It's like it looks like the tracer blink. So that looks way cooler than what what is going on with Life Weaver? It's like one line that you can barely see. What's up with that, man? Where is the pedals? I want to see pedals and I want to see gay pedals. What's going on? There's always people saying I'm not homophobic, but just want don't want politics in my game. By not wanting these people to be represented is political. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're like. Uh, gay, being gay is political, then you're already telling, like, you're kind of telling on yourself. Like, it's not a political thing to be gay. It's just, it's just a thing. It's just humanity. So, like, if for you, it's like a political issue, if you're like, whether or not I, I, I agree with you being gay is like a political thing, then you're already outed yourself. You think it's anyone else's decision whether someone gets to be gay or not. 